What is going on everybody? Zoo back here once again in No Man's Sky and today I'm going to show you how to build an activated indium farm so you really never have to worry about money again. This will also work with any type of farm you may want to build um, but we're going to just do an activated indium one for today. So the reason I'm in the space anomaly is because there's a few things you're gonna need before you can even begin this. This is not something that you're gonna be able to do like if you've only been playing the game for five hours or so. This is something you do a little bit later in the game. You're gonna need most of this stuff, but if you just want the stuff you actually need, don't worry about the switches, but you need the mineral extractor, supply depot, supply pipe, and Definitely gonna need the battery electromagnetic generator. I mean you could do it solar, but uh, it'll be better With electromagnetic generator and then as you can see here You're also going to need uh, a good bit of materials to build this a lot of metal plating and Chromatic metal so you're gonna want to have a good source for that stuff But those are the things you need to get started the gas extractor you don't need for an activated indium farm, but if you wanted to set up a farm for like oxygen or something, that's where the gas extractors come in. And those are really useful too. But if you don't have enough to buy everything at once, then just go, you know, electrical wire, mineral extractor, supply depot, supply pipe. And you, sh you, you also need to have, you know, power like the battery and the electromagnetic generator. And solar power. This thing's rubbish, so I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, and aside from those buildable pieces, you also are going to need to have the survey device. That's from the multi-tool guy. But very important that you have that, or this you won't be able to build that. So you need to get all of that stuff before you can start building farms like I'm about to show you. Okay, so here we are on the galaxy map. Now remember, we're trying to set up an activated indium farm. Now these planets that have activated indium are never nice. They're always going to be stormy, so it's always a little bit difficult to work in, but... Uh, just something to expect. They're always gonna have bad storms on them. But what you're looking for is like blue stars. Those generally, I have good luck with those. May take you a couple tries, but try hitting blue stars. Okay, and there was our first jump. So what we're gonna do is just scan from space. Look for a planet that has activated indium. That has regular indium, gold, salt. Not what we're looking for. Okay, here we go. This one has activated. And here we are. So now we need to find the activated indium. So let's use our analysis visor here. We want to put it on the hammer. It says no hot spot nearby. One trick is, even when it shows no hot spot nearby, you can hear a beeping. And as you move, it gets louder or quieter. So it can give you an idea of which direction to go in. You guys won't be able to hear that in the video, but um, try it on your own. I mean, I can definitely hear it in headphones. I mean, I don't know if you could hear it if you weren't using headphones, but. And there we have it. There is our activated indium hotspot. Now there's a lot of stuff around it, so we definitely will have to clear some stuff out. But here's what I do. When I find the hotspot, I throw down a save beacon and then color it. Like, so this is for the activated. Uh, it's in such a weird spot. So I'm just going to make this blue. All right, so now we know where our activated indium hotspot is. It's not in a good spot, as you can see. There's like 
all kinds of trees everywhere, but we could work with that, maybe. So now the next thing we need to do is find our electricity. So lightning bolt, nothing is popping nearby. So we're gonna have to run around a little bit. Okay, and here we have our electricity hotspot. It is a uh, C, so not the greatest, but so what I do is also put another save beacon here. And this one will make it, uh, let's just make it red. So we got, the red one is our electricity. And then we got the blue one is the activated indium. Here, let's put the regular visor back on and see what we can get. So that's pretty far away. You got to... So now that once you have the two save beacons set up like that, you can kind of get an idea of what you have to work with here. Because you got to remember, we got to run power all the way over to that hot spot, which was quite a distance away. So we want to place our base computer around the middle. I'm going to put the base computer around here. So let's see how this works out for us. Okay, so really what I try to do is get the base computer about in the middle of the two save beacons we set up because we got our activated indium over here and then we have our electricity way over there. Let's start let's start with the farm. Okay, so here we are back out at that save beacon where the activated indium hotspot is and there's these massive trees around it we got to clear some of this out okay now that we've done some cleanup here we can start building so what I like to do is use the concrete panel just the floor there Probably don't need all these, but I just want to clear out some space here. Okay, now we need to start placing. Our mineral extractors. Now these are what are going to get the activated indium for us. So you could do this lots of different ways. It's really kind of up to you. They need to be on the hot spot to start with. Now, if you only had the materials, say, to do five, just do five. You know, it doesn't matter. It's going to make you money right from the beginning. So, okay. Once you get those things there, now you got to connect them all with the supply pipe. So, you just, you know. All right, so we got a supply pipe and now supply depots. Uh, the more of these we have, the more it's gonna store. Now, if I remember right, this was only a B-class hotspot, I think. So it's gonna, it's not gonna put out as much as like an A or an S-class would, but it doesn't really matter. The more of these we have, the more we could store, so the less we're gonna have to come out here and check this stuff. So right now we're just gonna have one, but we're gonna be building a bunch more of those because we want kind of a lot. So with these, do it how, again, however you want. You could just make them all over the place. Ultimately, I, I usually like to keep most of them out here by the uh, extractors, but 
then I'll run a long pipe to one and put it inside of a little shack base with a portal so I can just portal in and grab it. So for now, we're just gonna do that many. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do one more just to make it an even 10. All right, so now we need power because none of this stuff is working. But if we check here, with what we built so far, we could store 12,000. All right, so now the electricity setup. Okay, and here we are back at our electricity hotspot. Let's check what this was again. I forgot the class. It, it's a C class. All right, so same kind of thing like we did on the other side. I'm gonna start putting concrete down. That should be good. Now let's go to power and we need to use electromagnetic generators. Now this is only a C class spot. I tend to go pretty big on these because I, you know, more power you have, the less you have to worry about it because at if, if you're doing this for the first time, you're soon going to be, you'll grow very rich. Um, so you might want to make this even bigger. So to avoid having to constantly come back and add more power as you add more, uh, more of the extractors, I suggest going, go big with your power. It might be more than you need, but if you have the materials, I'd say do it. All right, so we got one, two, Three, four, five, six. That's probably fine. I don't think we need more, but just for the heck of it, let's do three more. Just so we don't have to don't have to worry about it. And I know I'm doing this in kind of a messy way, but you know. Just a tutorial. You can make it look nice if you want. So you want to make sure all that stuff's wired together, and now Where is our base computer? We colored it red. It's out that way. So this part is a little tricky, but I like to do it this way. Run the battery out as far as you can while it's still green and then place it and then drag your wire. And then what you can do, since we got kind of a ways to go, is you can just follow the wire and then do another battery. Okay, and uh, oops, I messed that one up. Okay, and while that may have seemed like it didn't take a long time, I cut a lot of the video out because that actually did take a really long time. So, Laying these batteries, getting power out to your farm setup can be difficult, really depending on the planet. And most of these activated Indian planets don't have the best, you know, they're stormy and not very friendly to build on. So here we are, now we can get this thing running. So let's hook up the battery. Okay. And there we have them all powered up now. And you can see them mining away. So, you can see with this setup, this is putting out 2650 an hour with 1200 storage. That's plenty to be putting out an hour. So really at this point, all you would do is add more storage depots. So, probably what I would do, um, our base computer's over there. I don't want to run pipes all the way over there, so just do like a, you know, something like this. All 
All right, so let's go in there real quick. And again, guys, not trying to make this pretty or anything. This is just a quick and dirty activated Indium farm that you can come out to once a day and make a, a lot of units. Okay, so now what, what we do, or this is what I would do, is uh, let's go back to this, take one of these, we're going to put it in here, connect it back to our grid out here. Okay, so then you just put a portal in, wire that up. I know we got some power out here somewhere. We actually should have plenty of power for, to run this thing for a while. I was, the battery was right down here. And there you have it. That is how you build an activated indium farm. Now this is the with the current setup, it's gonna take about five hours to make thir thirteen thousand. So, really, all you need to be super rich at this point is a bunch of metal plating. Just build a bunch more of these storage depots, and over because what did we say? This is putting out twenty six fifty an hour. So, if you have enough storage to hold 100,000, you're going to max out your units super quick. And just to give you an idea of how much this sells for. Okay, so this is an activated indium and oxygen farm that I built for the community to just come by and grab things. There's a video in the description you could check out if you want to come here. But this one holds over 100,000 which sells for about 97 million units. So a stack sells for about 10 million units. So as you can see, this one is a lot bigger. There's a lot more supply depots. Um, and uh, over there is all the extractors. Not too many more extractors, but, you know, a good bit more. But this one, you know, is putting out a lot more. This is meant to be the type of base you come to. You pick up the activated indium once and you never need to come back really that much. So the one you build for yourself, it's all going to be up to you. How often do you want to visit the base and have to go sell this stuff? I hope that helps someone out there. If it did, you know, leave a comment and let me know that it helped. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. And if it really helped you a lot, you could subscribe to that channel right there. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.